What is it you like about coming to these events? Well, first of all, I really love Wendy. <laughs> I love the way she bridges two worlds, the world of business and the world of spirit, and the way that she bridges that, integrates it within herself, and um, brings those two worlds together, that she makes it available to other people in a way that I, I find remarkable, actually. And I think it's her comfort with both worlds and the work that she has done to bring those two worlds together in herself, and so it's it's something that she practices and something that she embodies. Um, you said her presence. How might you describe her presence? Sparkly. Sparkly. <laughs> uh, she has great questions. She she asks. I think she asks some of the best questions that I've ever been asked. So they they make me think. Uh, they make me go deeper in myself. And it, at first, I might I might say, it's like, ooh, that's a really hard question. But if I really give myself even a few moments to consider it, uh, it can take me into a place of much deeper understanding of myself. And then things start to open up, like my next bold move would open up. I have access. It gives me access in a way that, uh, that I don't normally have when I'm on my own, even though I have many uh, reflective and introspective processes and goals and all of that. It's just a way, it's kind of a synergy. She's kind of an alchemist, I guess. I love that. What might you tell someone if you were trying to entice them to come to your next bold move? What might you tell them? I know it's kind of an overused phrase, but you can actually just come as you are. It's a better way of saying it. You come as you are. You can offer what you have to offer. It's a great place to build a business if you want to build your business. Uh, a lot of networking goes on. A great place to be with other women. Mary Elizabeth, thank you so much. You're welcome.